Hey friends, it's been uh, it's been a long time since I talked to you, and uh, I posted a video yesterday with my daughter Chell. Um, we were just messing around. I was just messing with her. She's trying to eat, and I was making noises while she was eating. And a lot of you are saying that you just missed updates on things, and and I feel like on this channel, I only seem to update when something major is happening. You know, like there's like some epic. Thing, like maybe the storm comes through or I break my arm or whatever. I'm doing better by the way. My arm is, is good, but uh, I found out I torn ligament or torn cartilage between here and here. So yay, I have to be in this for like probably like another eight more weeks or so. Hopefully not. Um so what's been going on? Life is very different than it used to be. My mindset for things is a lot different. I think who I am as a person uh, <clears throat> has, is very different. There's a lot of stuff that's the same, right? But I'm changing in, in really good ways and I'm learning a lot about myself and I'm learning a lot about life. And, you know, I, I've been on YouTube since 2005. It's, you know, it's been 19 years It'll be 20 years next year that I've been on YouTube. 20 years. Like, what the heck, dude? That's, that's crazy. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I guess a couple things I want to share that, that, that I find fascinating about where, where I'm at personally in my life. Um, I'm not scared to get old anymore. Maybe a lot of you didn't know this. I'm sure most of you didn't know this because... <laughs> Um, I was really scared to get old, not, not because like, I, I was like afraid of, you know, being, I don't know, old. I don't know. I just, I was, I was worried about how I was going to be. I, I thought I was going to like lose myself. I thought I was going to become useless. I thought I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things, um, anymore. And, um, uh, while I'm sure getting older, there will be things that will, you know, limit me. <laughs> you know, I won't be as fast or as strong or whatever, but now in my, you know, I'm in, I'm coming up in my mid forties guys. Um, I feel young still, you know, and, and, and even, even when I do get old, you know, I, I think old is probably going to be in my seventies. I think that's when getting old starts, like really actually getting old starts. I'm just a middle-aged man right now, so I don't call, I don't consider myself old. <laughs> um, but it's like old as a mindset, you know, like you can have an old body, but like, if you really think about what getting old is, this is what I think about. If you're happy and you're able to do the things that make you happy, then everything's good. And even if there, you can't do all the things that make you happy, if you're still happy, then it's okay. Your interests are going to change. The things that you love are going to change. And, and you're just going to have more love in your life as you continue to go through life. The more friends you make, the more family that comes. And the more love that you bring into your life, the better things are, you know? And that that's... That's what life is about. Life is about living and about love for yourself and for others and, and just to really embrace everything. But anyway, that's uh, that's that's one for me that um, I'm really actually kind of excited to get old. I'm also in the middle of watching back um, a lot of videos from uh, Kristen's grandpa, Grandpa Keith. He turned 100 years old, which was awesome. Um, but he actually, um, he passed away while uh, the family and I were in St. Lucia in December, uh, just around Christmas time. And I'm, I'm watching all of his home, like his, his home movies, like from, from old, like film reels. Like, <laughs> well, I think it was more like that. It's just like a big old box, whatever. But, um, I'm converting all of those into digital format um, for the family, and, and 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 as I'm watching it back, I'm watching this this 
this guy who ended up being 100 years old, I'm watching his life. From the time he was about 20 is about the earliest video that I processed of him. And I was like, wow, check this out. I'm watching his life and just thinking like, look at this, look, look, look what this is for him. You know, like, like, yeah, he was old in the end. And I mean, dude was hundred years old. Um, but he was still happy. It was just really chill. You know, he, he was ready to go. I mean, he wasn't like begging to go, but he was always just so, just so humble and, and so nice and so just down to earth. And it looks like that was just how he was his whole life. I mean, maybe he went through changes as well, because obviously you only see what you see with what people show you, right? Like I, like you, you don't know everything about me. You know what I show you about me, you know, but I love, I love seeing this. It's just, it's, it's good for me. And in, in the process of aging myself, it's like, wow, look at all the stuff I have to look forward to, you know? One scene, it's 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 him and, and his wife. And they're having this great time in their 20s. And they're young. And then they're, they have kids, you know, and then they got little babies and they're just trying to chase them around. And I, I see a lot of stuff that I relate to even as a dad now. <laughs> and, and, then, and then there's videos of, you know, Grark. You know, my, my wife's dad, like him, like, you know, coming out of school and... And then, and then there's videos of Kristen, so grandkids, you know, and, and then now on online, there's videos of, of Grandpa Keith with our kids, so his great grandkids, and, and it was, it's just all good. But anyway, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. And, and it's cool because, like, I still, I still want to, like, share bits of my life like this as well. Um, obviously not as regular as I was before because I, I, um, I, I just, I just, I was kind of done with giving the world so much of myself personally because of, you know, uh, sometimes there's just feedback from the world you don't want to hear, you know, it's unnecessary to your life and it becomes toxic, but I, I still love enjoying, or I still enjoy sharing parts of myself, um, because it's not just for me, it's, it's going to be for other people, it's going to be for my children and my, my children's children. And, and like vlogging was always kind of like telling the story of our life, you know, but after watching Keith's videos, it's, he wasn't vlogging. He wasn't talking about every detail of his day. I mean, there were some takes that where he was just like, and here we are at the mountains. You can see that mountain over there and you can see this over there. And I'm like, well, technically, dude, you're vlogging. <laughs> so maybe that's why he, he used to love watching the vlogs. He watched religiously, like always. Um, but 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 most of the time it wasn't like vlogs, you know, and they were still special. There was still something to them, even if we didn't know who all the people were in it. It's like what mattered is just seeing happiness, seeing somebody that you know and you care about and just seeing them happy. And, and that's, that's what I think this is. That's what I think what that's, maybe that's what I'm trying to do here. You know, I, I, I didn't growing up, uh, there's, I don't have very many videos, if any of when I was a kid, you know, and the only ones that I did have either got destroyed in a flood or they're just somewhere on a VHS tape in a box that no one has seen in ages. But I'm I'm capturing this for myself right now and sharing it with you because I know some of you out there would enjoy it. Ah, what else has been going on, man? I've been just working on myself a lot, working on who I am as a person and and how how I do things. Here's a fun one for you. Um and and I'm going to this is me now sharing more than maybe I should, but I'm just going to do it. So I have always been the type of person that I, I crave attention. Uh, it's true. I admit it. I mean, I do because of things in my life that have happened to me. Uh, I, I, I crave that attention and, and, and I think I always will. But like, I 
was actively working hard to not crave that attention after I, I had some talks with Kristen and, 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 you know, there's, there's a random dog running in front of me. Who's that dog? I don't know that dog. Hmm. That's what happens when you live in the country. Random. Yeah, anyway, um, there's good things and bad things to being someone who craves attention. I don't just crave attention. I work for it. There's a difference between just craving it and working for it. I have always been one to like, I want to entertain you. I want to make you happy. I want that. And, and so it's like that attention. It's, it's, it's maybe not necessarily that I want people watching me. It's more so that I crave, um, uh, well, what is it like when somebody says you did a great job, it's not compliments. It's like re reassurance that I'm doing good for the world or something. It'll come to me later what that actual word is. So I, I tried for a couple of weeks early in this year, right? To stop, a, uh, stop looking for attention, to stop trying to actively go for that. And one thing that I found is it makes me really freaking depressed, dude. Okay. When you're in your forties, like you probably know who you are and there's probably little things that you're still going to learn. But like, if you're going to change something in yourself and maybe this is just me talking to myself through the camera. So I'm just going to say you, I'm really talking to me. Um, learn, I learned that if if I am going to change myself, it can't be something that is so big that it kind of defines who I am. So like what happened to myself when I started trying to like take away the like, you know, outside gratification, all that stuff, like, not, you know, I started becoming really self-hating. Um, no, 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 not self-hating. I, I felt, um, I felt like everything I had done was pointless and my achievements in life were kind of dumb and, and stupid. And, and I felt like, like my, my goal in life, I, I live forever through the inspiration I give others throughout my lifetime. That is my mantra. That's what, that's what this tattoo on my arm is all about. You know, I live forever through the inspiration I give others throughout my life. And to be someone who is constantly, you know, it's not, it's not craving attention. It's, what is that word? I'm going to, I'm going to get it. Um, yeah, it, it just broke me, man. And so I started like, kind of like hiding from the, the crowds. I started being like, not so social. Like I didn't really want to talk to people. I was inside my head, constantly hating things I've said and things I'd done and all of that. And, and really these are things that, that were really good things that I did in the world. And sure. I thought about some things that like, maybe I didn't do good, but it's the things that I didn't do good are mostly like something I said to somebody that may have hurt that person, but wasn't my intention for saying it. Um, but that's the thing is like confident people can talk to confident people and everything's okay because we are sharing our confidence to boost the confidence. But if you are a highly confident person talking to somebody who is not a very confident person, the not confident person can sort of pull back even more and it makes them feel even less. So, you know, that's something I've had to learn, but, um, Kristen, um, you know, I'll speak for her just a little bit. Like she, so she's, I'm her and I are very opposite. I'm extremely like super confident. I am highly social. I mean, I love hugs, you know, like I'm, th I'm that guy. Like usually if there's like a, a crowd of people, I'm in the middle of it somewhere. <laughs> like I will be there. I'll be talking and sharing my stuff and trying to inspire somebody in some way. And, and Kristen's the opposite. She's going to go and be on the side and observe all the time and, and, and be real. She's a deep thinker, but she doesn't, um, you know, s just say what's on her mind a whole lot. She just kind of observes, you know, um, and the actions that she takes, uh, everything is like so highly calculated where me, I'm like, I have an idea. Let's go. <laughs> and then we just kind of go. Yeah. So I ended up like having to, I, I, I got, I, I, it was, um, a, about two weeks ago, I fell into the craziest, deepest depression 
it it got scary guys it got so scary I, I told Kristen I'm like I can't do this whatever this is I I can't have this anymore I cannot live this whatever this is and it's just like ah you know my I've watched my business starting to fall even though like I'm pioneering again and I, I feel like I'm one of the best in my field no I am one of the best in my field I know it um but yeah I ended up making like a list of the pros and cons of everything that was happening while I was trying to work on myself. And I found out, wow, there's way more cons. So at some point, you, me, whatever, whoever I'm talking to, you have to just say, you know what, this is who I am. Uh, these are the pros and cons. And if the pros greatly outweigh the cons, then accept that the cons are going to happen and say, it's going to happen. Don't hate yourself for it forgive yourself as long as it's not hurting anybody. And if it is hurting somebody, then try your best to work on that specific little thing instead of the big thing. Work on the little things. And for me, it's just communication with people and trying to understand them. But there's there's my problem, right? Like I love being uh, outgoing. I love, I do love being the center of attention because like it, I feel like it, it puts me in a position to be able to do some good for somebody if I can it teach. Like, I just want to teach constantly, inspire in some way. Um, but with that, when you are constantly the center, it's hard sometimes to listen. Um, and and that, that was one of the only real positives with me trying to do this change mindset was that when I wasn't sharing about myself, I was just listening. And I learned a lot about people, but I also got real sad because I started learning about just how low some people are, their self-esteem. And inside it just made me so sad because I'm like, I wish you could have what I have, but I'm so upset with what I have. I just can't allow, oh man, it's a mess. The world needs people like me and the world needs people who are like Kristen. Both are equally as important in this world, you know, Kristen keeps me grounded because when I'm just me by myself, I'm crazy and crazy people do crazy things. They make bad decisions. They, you know, they, they, all this sort of stuff. And, and trust me, I've made my share of mistakes in my life. Lots. And if I was with Kristen, a lot of those mistakes wouldn't have happened. <laughs> I'll tell you that, you know, so, you know, yin yang. One cannot exist without the other. And the things that I do for Kristen is I get her out of her show. Like when we started vlogging, like she opened up, right? That she, she, she was not a camera person at all. And then, and now like, I mean, she, she, you know, she's doing stuff like right now she's, um, she's gone at an event, a social event. I, I, I don't really want to say anything. Cause like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to let her, if she decides she wants to say something about what she's doing, she should, but I'm very proud of what she's doing because it's actually really cool. And I think a lot of you, especially <laughs> here on this channel, you guys would eat it up. Um, but yeah, there's that. Last thing I'll talk about is, uh, this, this Jeep for many years of my life, I've driven Jeeps. I've loved, I've loved my Jeeps. I've had uh, three in my lifetime. This will be my last one. Just cleaned it up today because this is going to be my last Jeep. In a couple more days, my Tesla Model Y comes in. Which, by the way, buying a Tesla is freakishly hard. Like, really hard. It's been a month. Seriously, since I've been trying to buy my Tesla, it, this is the worst car buying experience I've ever had. And I've bought lots of cars. Like you have to like order it. And then it's, it's just a big old freaking cluster F <laughs> it is. It's so bad, but it's going to be worth it because the, the Tesla, Tesla dude did the, the model Y, like I drove it, the family and I, like we had it over uh, Easter and boy, we loved it. We were, we were like, this is our car, especially me. Like I'm a tech junkie, you know, uh, if you, if you want to know what I do for a living now, you can go to daydreamstudios.com and see what it is that I do. But like the Tesla model Y it's like, it's just begging for me to do customization. <laughs> like I'm going to customize it. And the name of my Tesla is its name's going to be turret. 
turret because you know portal I'm, a, I'm i love portal always will forever love portal i still gotta get a tattoo but yeah turret is the new car we're so vlogging when we get turret but yeah i'm gonna say goodbye to this oh also my phone's gonna die so anyway that's i'm uh i'm 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 home alone i just dropped the kids off with uh, Gork and Grangy because they wanted to have some some uh, sleepover time. And Kristen is at her uh, awesome conference. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I was going to clean the garage out more. I got to make room for the Tesla to make sure. And then we're getting the supercharger put in back there. Home charger thing. That's it. That's what I got going on. Life is good, guys. Life is good. So, no moral to this story. But if there was, it would be, don't be afraid of getting old. Embrace it. Um, look back on good memories, but don't beat yourself up for the bad ones. We all make mistakes. We all make great decisions as well. And uh, don't change yourself to the point of destruction. If you want to make good in the world, you got to do it for yourself first. You got to get in there. You've got to work on who you are. And, um, you know, know your limits of change. Because as I have learned, there's a limit. I am proud of who I am. I'm not going to, I'm not going to deny that I will say it out loud and I'll say it to many. And I still haven't figured out an approval junkie. I'm an approval junkie. That's what it is. That's what I wanted to say. I, I crave approval. Ha! Yes. It's not that I'm, I've been craving attention. It's approval. Ha. Ah, perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, that's it, guys. I miss you all. I love you all. I hope you have a great life. I mean, I'd say day, but no, like your whole thing. Just make the whole life, whole life good. I'll see you in the next one. One, two, do it with me. One, two, three. Goodbye. It's hurting, but I can still do it. <laughs>